let's look at the second type of collision, the inelastic collision. On an inelastic collision, what that means is the two objects are going to stick together. So while initially we may have had M1 moving at velocity 1 and M2 moving at velocity 2, and then we have a collision, afterwards they're going to move away with some common velocity. They're stuck together. Now we, it's clear to see the mass here is going to be M1 plus M2. During an elastic collision, there is heat. There is deformation. There is usually some sort of damage done, even. We do not have any of the conservation of energy that we had with elastic. This is a typical diagram for an inelastic collision. We have M1 traveling at V1, M2 traveling at V2, and then we have the collision, and then they're stuck together. They're embedded. A lot of times you'll see the word embedded, but basically this is now M1 plus M2. Looking at the conservation of um, momentum, let's read this straight down. M1 times V1 is our first momentum plus M2 times V2, this is our second collision, our arrow is our equal sign, and finally our final momentum is going to be this combined mass times the final velocity. Let's work the problem. Suppose I have a point zero one five hockey puck moving at 48 meters per second, and it's caught by a goalie who's at rest. With what speed does a goalie slide on the ice? Now we need to use a little bit of common sense here. The goalie isn't moving to start with, but he does catch it. So we know this is going to be an inelastic collision because the implication is he catches and doesn't drop the, the um, hockey puck. So first draw a diagram. Now, here is my 0.15 kilogram, 0.105 kilogram hockey puck, and it's moving with 48 meters per second. And here is my second mass. Here is my goalie, and he's at rest. There's a collision. This is where he catches it. And then he slides off. So the goalie plus the hockey puck slide together. And we're looking for the final velocity. Now write out your givens. Before collision, you have M1 is 1.105 kilograms, and M2 is 75. V1 is 48, and V2 is 0. Read off your, your momentum formula. M1, M1 times V1 plus M2 times V2 equals M1 plus M2 times V4. Now this term right here is zero, so you want to mark it out. To rearrange this for B prime, I'm going to divide both sides through by M1 plus M2 and solve. And I see that I, the goalie with the puck travel off at 0 0.67 meters per second. 